Union Station, a Kansas City landmark that houses so many memories for Kansas Cityans. A Metro family with a special needs child had a pretty unique experience in the historic train station that's now growing into something even more magical. And all new at 5, 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson joins us live from Union Station to tell us about it. Lisa? We are right. I'm live right now at Union Station. And of course, this is an absolutely beautiful space. And for one Metro family and Union Station's president, it's all about making lasting memories. Da Vinci, the exhibition at Union Station. The teeth and the gears go. Do they connect to this? More than 35,000 people have walked through the exhibit, including seven year old Sean Bamber. Let's find the ones that are touched. Sean has cerebral palsy and is visually impaired. His recent visit to Union Station surprised he and his mother as they unlocked the mind of a master. And we quickly found with the Da Vinci exhibit that we could abandon the wheelchair. He walked around, he checked out everything that he could possibly touch in there. With the visual impairment, it's so hard to find things that he can learn from in a public setting that's already ready to go, that's already accessible. Now, Union Station plans to expand to help more families like the Bambers create lasting memories. We're getting ready to launch the largest single renovation and construction project since the day that, that we made this place beautiful. The $7 million upgrade will make it easier to park, create a new outdoor festival area, and transform Science City into an indoor-outdoor attraction. So today, we're creating the story and the memories for the next generation. Creating stories while allowing families the freedom to explore. It's a great place. Science City has boomed. There are so many new exhibits there. There's so many new adventures that even our big kids are having fun rediscovering. Now, speaking of lasting memories, this is one Kansas Cityans won't soon forget. And Union Station's president says he is more than willing to throw another party in red, of course, for the Chiefs. Reporting live at Union Station, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.